Well, growing concerns tonight over a shortage of police officers in Baltimore City. Now, despite major recruiting efforts, there's still big turnover in the department. And for only the second time in the last two decades, Baltimore hits 100 homicides before the end of April. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the Northern District Police Station breaking down the troubling numbers. Mike? Denise, the murder rate is up 30% over last year. It's a grim milestone. That murder that pushed us over the 100 mark was uh, happened on Lombard Street, one of the busiest intersections uh, downtown. Now, the number of officers is at its lowest point than at any point in the prior decade, and that is cause for concern. Baltimore City is seeing a shortage of officers, recruitment that can't keep pace with those leaving the force. While police have made inroads into filling vacant positions, they can't do it fast enough, fighting suburban departments and D.C. agencies for recruits. Also to blame, labor-intensive, 10-hour, four-day-a-week schedules implemented by the last commissioner. There weren't enough people to make the schedule work, so unfortunately we've been playing catch-up. Throughout the 2000s, Baltimore never had fewer than 2,900 officers. That number is roughly 2,500 today. And when you take into account officers on leave, that number drops by 300 more. The department is spending $1 million a month on overtime just to keep up. It's noticeable to community activist Erica Alston. When I walk up to one of the officers, uh, the first thing I ask is, what, what district are y'all of? Because 90% of the time, they're not a Western District police officer. So everyone's working overtime. There needs to be something attractive about being a police officer here in Baltimore City. I, I, I don't see the attraction. In January, the police union president called staffing levels dangerous. You get in a crisis mood like we're in right now with crime out of control and not enough uniformed officers on the street. I would say it's at a crisis point. I find that offensive. I know that I've spoken to several of my commanders who find that offensive. A bright spot now for recruitment. Maryland regulators just relaxed standards for marijuana use, making more people eligible to become officers. It doesn't matter how many authorized positions you have. You have to get those qualified applicants to fill those authorized positions. And under the new marijuana policy, you just can't have used it in the past three years. A big message from police tonight. They want you to know that they are hiring. Denise? All right, thank you, Mike. Now, the beginning salary, beginning salary for a city officer is just under $49,000 plus benefits.